So this is how we can choose the photo widget on your iPhone. Let's get started. So a lot of people would like to add photos as widgets to their home screen, but sometimes you feel like you cannot really control which photo shows up right there, right? So what I'm gonna do is to get to the edit mode, add the widget right here. I'm gonna look for the photos uh, right there. So it should be part of the list uh, right here. So let me just select it like that. And essentially we have the first set of widgets. So you can see we have the featured in a three sizes and then we have the album in a three sizes. The key difference is that the featured, well, are randomly selected by the phone and you don't have much control over it. So it might be useful, right? If you want some random photos, but if you want a specific pictures, you really need to go with the album option, which is right there, right? So I'm gonna click and add this one, right? So let me just delete all of the other widgets. So we just end up with the latest one, right? And if you click on it, right, it's gonna turn around and it gives you the ability to choose the album from your photos, which you want the photos to be part of, right? So at first, if you don't have that, we need to return to the photos app, go to albums, we can create a brand new one or just add photos to an existing one like this. And right now, if I return back to the widget and I choose that particular album to be displayed on my screen, you can see that I get to pick specifically which photos are gonna appear on my home screen and all the time, right? And it's pretty useful. You can click on it to get inside and it just gets the job done. But as I mentioned, the important part is choosing the album photo widget instead of the featured photos widget. So that's gonna be about it. There are of course third-party widget apps. I'm not gonna get into that in this video, but stay tuned for more videos like this one in the future by subscribing and I'll see you later.